Okay, a little small sand sour tip of the day for you. It's just to do with the swiveling. You're always told when you swivel, all of these movements when we swivel from side to side, not to stand up. Okay, so you should have heard that before if you're practicing small sand sour. Meaning, you're sunk down in your legs, don't stand up and sink. Stand up and sink. You stay sunk as you swivel across, you see? You must not stand up in the legs. In other words, your head doesn't go up and down, just like in the slow form. So that's pretty obvious. But what's not so obvious is what people do to compensate for that. So, <clears throat> the reason that we stand up is to take pressure off the ankles, because it's difficult to swivel. It's difficult to pull the toes up and swivel on the heels when you take it across. You've got to actually engage the tibias muscle to pull the toes up. If you don't, the toes will drag and you'll put pressure on your knees. So you must lift your balls of your feet off the ground and then put them back again. So standing up makes that much easier, and that's why people tend to do it. But when people sink down correctly, there's another way to make it easier, which people don't notice so much, and it's in here. So, now, you'll notice that my lower back is flat here. Watch what happens when I swivel to the other side. Notice how I remain tucked in here. I'm engaged in the core. As I turn, I tuck. As I turn my waist, I go, ah, just a light tuck, ah, as I take it to the other side. Okay, now, watch the mistake. See, that's just as bad. In fact, that's worse than standing up. Sticking the bum out, like so, arching the back or leaning forward in order to get across and then re-tucking. So that's your tip of the day. Just make sure you have a look at your lower back, your pelvis area, as you do your swiveling. So make sure your knees stay bent. Push from one leg into the other and bend that right leg. But engage here as you start to turn so that you stay totally sunk and grounded. This is breaking your root just as much as standing up in your legs. So tuck that under twist to the side and you'll feel much more core engagement then as well because what that's doing is it's engaging your psoas and therefore it links up your entire center to your limbs as soon as you do that everything that's down here all the power comes from down here doesn't attach to the hands so not only is it bad structure but you get less power so tuck it under engage you'll feel this you'll feel it clench under and then relax clench and relax clench and relax all the way through your swimming. That's your tip of the day.